just gonna do a quick walkthrough of evaluating expressions. So here we have an algebraic expression. Notice we have some operations, like in this case, subtraction. We have some letters and some numbers. It says here, evaluate the expression when g is 20 and h is four. First thing I do is copy the expression. Next, I replace the g with 20 and h with four. And now it becomes the same thing we practiced before when you follow order of operations. I have subtraction and division. I do division first, so I'm gonna divide this out. And now I get four, and then four minus four, you get zero. And that's the final answer all set. So that's what it means to evaluate an expression, is to take it from this to your final answer, which in this case is zero. Let's look at one more example. Here they want us to evaluate this expression when g is five and h is seven. So what I did here is I substituted g is five, h is seven. Notice I put my five in parentheses here because a number next to another number that's in parentheses automatically means multiplication. When you see a number next to a letter like this, this indicates multiplication. Even though it doesn't show it, that's what it means. Multiply these together. So when I replace G with five, I have to multiply those numbers together. Once you do your substitution, all you have to do is follow order of operations. So multiplication is before division, or sorry, multiplication is for, before addition. Multiply these, you get 45. Then we do addition and we get 52 for a final answer. So notice that this is no different than following order of operations. The only extra step you're doing is you first have to substitute your numbers in place and then follow order of operations.